Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so now that we learned about a few tricks of the puzzles, it's time to talk about some, something different. So now that we were talking about expanding numbers and uh, doing all of that calculations, do you remember that we had learned about the divisibility rules like uh, like when you were often worried that your brother asked you to answer quickly if 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2 is divisible by 4 or not. So you found it difficult to answer immediately because it, time, it takes some time to divide and then check. And that is where we talk about the divisibility tests which quickly tells us, which gives us some tricks and tell us that how by looking at a number we can say if it will be divisible by 2 or not, whether it will be divisible by 4 or 6 or 3 or 9 and so on. Now here we already know about all of these divisibility tests. So here what we are going to do is we want to see how these divisibility tests work. So many of you would have seen the, the respective video of class 6. You would have already learned all of this but those who haven't seen it this is a quick recap for all of you. So let's start with divisibility by 2. So how do we know that a number is divisible by 2 or not? Not by actual division, without doing actual division. If the number has 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 in its units place, then that number would be divisible by 2. Now this is pretty simple, right? You do not need to do the division. Doesn't matter how big the number is. You just need to focus only on the units place digit. And if that digit is one of these five digits like 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, then it is divisible by 2. Now, the next question you might ask is, why does this rule exist? How do we come up with such a rule? So for that, let us, we can just do one simple thing. Let us look at the multiples of 2. So when you look at the multiples of 2, this is how it is. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6. 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10, 2 6s are 12, 2 7s are 14, 2 8s are 16 and so on. So when you look at the multiples of 2, just observe the digit at the units place and you would see that all these digits are either of these 5 digits. Either 0 or 2 or 4 or 6 or 8. So that's how the digits are. So that's how the pattern is. So therefore, looking at the multiples of 2, we have come up with this rule which just tells us to focus only on the digit at the units place. Now let us look at some of the numbers. So here you see there are quite big numbers on the screen. So if you actually divide them by 2, you are definitely going to take some amount of time. But how quickly we will tell just looking at the numbers if they are divisible by 2 or not. So look at this number. What do you have in the units place? You have a 6. So that means it is divisible by 2. Look at this one. You have 0. So this is also divisible by 2. How about this one? You have 1 at the units place. So this is not divisible by 2. Here again you have 9 at the units place. So this is not divisible by 2. So it is not even taking you seconds to answer if the number is divisible by 2 or not. Let's look at divisibility by 5. So in case of 5 also, you do not need to do actual division just by looking at the digit at the units place. So if the units place digit is either 0 or 5, then the number is divisible by 5. Pretty simple, isn't it? How again, how do we come up to this rule? Again, the same logic, just by looking at the multiples of 5. So when you look at the multiples of 5, they look somewhat like this. 5 is a 5, 5 2 is a 10, 5 3 is a 15, 5 4 is a 20, 5 5 is a 25 and so on and so forth. And when you look at the digit at the units place, you see that they are alternately 5 and 0. 5 0, 5 0, 5 0 and so on. So looking at this, we have come up to this come up with this rule. So let us look at some examples. 2, 4, 5, 6. Will it be divisible by 5? Just focus on the units place. It is 6. So this is not divisible. How about this number? It is very big but we do not worry what about the other digits. Just focus on the last digit, the units place. And it is 0. Therefore it is divisible by 5. Look at this one. Here the last digit is 1. So this is again not divisible by 5. 
In a similar way, we can check for divisibility by 10. So a number is divisible by 10 if the number has 0 in its 1's place. So it is all the more simple. You do not even need to search for more numbers. Anything ending with 0 is divisible by 10. So this rule obviously has also come up on similar lines looking at the multiples of 10. So when you look at the multiples of 10, what do you see? All of them end with a 0. And that is what has uh, led to the formation of this rule. So till now we looked at the divisibility of 2, 5 and 10. And what did we see? We see that for to find out whether a number is divisible by 2, 5 or 10, we just need to focus on the digit at the units place. We are not at all bothered about the other digits. Only the units place digit decides whether the number is divisible by 2, 5 and 10 or not. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.